this, and I just wanted to show you this because I had talked with Sterling, I guess about three weeks before, three months before he got sick, and I had put together this board and a copy of a letter I got from his scrapbook that he sent me when I was doing the uh, putting together the stuff for the uh, Bow Hunter Hall of Fame award. I made a photographic copy of one of the letters from Ben Pearson to, to Sterling, and. Uh, I had told Sterling about this, and it was my wish that Sterling see this, and uh, unfortunately that just won't come to pass. I know he'd have been really, really pleased, and I wanted you to see it, and uh, hopefully I'm going to have this on display up in the uh, in Monroe area next year, and I'll, I'll, we'll certainly be in touch. But anyway, there's a, there's a copy of the letter here to Sterling from Ben with a copy with, uh, with one of the deadheads, and I have it, you can see I've got it. All of this portion of the board just dedicated to uh, to Sterling and to and to Ben with with the deadhead, and I'm going to try and do a close up here. But I'll I'll read this to you in case it doesn't come out. It says, "This head is from the first group of deadheads manufactured by Pearson. It was given by Mr. Ben to Louisiana Bowhunter Hall of Fame inductee Sterling Harrell of Ruston. Sterling and Mr. Ben were close personal friends."